Hello, and good evening, YouTube. Welcome back once again. And it is that time of the year again. Everyone's favorite time when we get to do the Chase Grid predictions. Ah! Now, since uh, there's a Chase and Xfinity and Truck Series now, I probably should have made one for both of them. However, I did not. Lucky for me, I made the prediction earlier this year. So as you know, well, maybe you don't, now I will tell you, I said that in Xfinity, Justin Allgaier would be the champion, and in Trucks, Matt Crafton would be champion. So that solves that problem. Now let's get to what really matters. It's the Chase 2016 and everything's gonna be crazy. If you thought last year was stupid, you haven't seen anything yet, I assume. In any case, it is time for the predictions. Currently, the um, drivers are ordered in no particular order. It's just what I threw in as far as... Um... Actually, hang on a second. Check this here. Alright, so this is my true outcome. I usually put together the true outcome as the season goes on. And of course, fucking now it's all fucked up. God fucking damn it, of course. Why? Why would you do this? There. I'm breaking the immersion. And that's good. Alright, here we fucking go. So yes, like like I said, no particular order. So let's get to the year-long summaries for everyone. So, first things first, we got Kale Larson. Made it into the chase like a boss at Michigan. And has really come alive lately. Like earlier on in the season, I was thinking, well, so much for Larson. But, yeah. Got that win in the open, and then the win in Michigan, like that. After that all-star race, things just started to tick. And it was only a matter of time before Larson made it in, which is just fucking amazing. So yay, Carl Larson. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Everyone's fucking favorite. But um, everyone's like, oh, oh, Jimmy's not doing good right now. Oh, oh. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Basically, shut up. I've said this ever since I started talking about NASCAR on this channel for over three years now. I have said, never count out Jimmy Johnson. Never, ever, 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 ever count out Jimmy Johnson. Or else I will come to your house and I will slap the shit out of you for fucking doubting Jimmy Johnson. Because you know what happens when you doubt Jimmy Johnson? You get five straight fucking championships. That's what happens when you doubt Jimmy Johnson. That's some fucking bullshit right there. So yeah. Never count on Jimmy Johnson. I don't give a shit if he's finished last in every fucking race from the fucking beginning of the season. I still think he could win the chase after that. Fucking Jimmy Johnson. Kevin Harvick. Harvick, on the other hand, I'm thinking, like, everyone's like, Harvick's the favorite to win the championship again! <laughs> and I say no. I'm going the Jimmy Johnson route with everyone else on Kevin Harvick. I think that Kevin Harvick is priming himself for failure. Because only just recently has he come alive. That win at Bristol came out of absolutely left field. I had n no confidence in Harvick being able to win that. And then he won it, and I was like, oh, okay. But he was facing off against, what, Stenhouse? Oh, please, Kevin. Don't fall to Roush equipment just yet. Don't fall to Roush equipment just yet. So, yeah, but Harvick... I don't like how Harvick's situated right now, especially the pit crew problem. And Harvick's going to blow up in his pit crew at some point, and he's going to fucking... They're going to walk off. They're going to stage a protest, and they're going to not allow him to do anything. Yeah. Harvick. Um, Logano. I don't give a single solitary shit about Logano. And Logano's been a 10th place car all season. And, yeah. He'll probably point his way through most of the chase. I don't see a win, I don't think. I don't remember. I have the predictions filled out, but I don't remember if I saw a win or not. But probably not. Probably not. But yeah, fuck Logano. Um, Truex, Truex, Truex. Yeah. After last season, I was very, very terrified. Mid-season last year when um, Barney Visser announced that they were going to go to Toyota with an alliance with Joey's Racing. I was like, you know, you got like... You got magical equipment right now, Barney. What are you doing changing? And then I noticed, like, that was right when Joe Gibbs Racing started their fucking domination. And then I saw at the end of the season, I was like, 
oh, perhaps this is a good a good thing because I was terrified that Truex was never going to have another chance to win a championship after last season because that was just absolutely magical. And it turns out, well, they're in their best position ever. He's got all the momentum in the world going into the chase. You know, I hate when people use momentum. I think it's actually more so a person than an idea. Than, a, than an idea. More Morris mentum, momentum. Yeah, if you can name your child that, I will give you um, two dollars. Truex, Tony, 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 Stewart, Stewart, Stewart. Last couple of weeks have not exactly been the greatest. Not gonna lie, could be better, honestly, Tony. You need to get your sits together, or else you're gonna fucking fall out of that shit. Because I had a lot of like, a lot of confidence with Tony Stewart like a month ago. Like a month ago, I was thinking this is the Tony Stewart we saw in 2011. The absolute grit and determination to fucking succeed, and uh, that kind of disappeared. And now he's just a pissed off old guy wrecking people. Yeah, good job, Tony. Good job, Tony. Matthew, the bat, Matt the bat, Kansas. Kenseth, Kenseth, Kenseth. Um, this season for Matt Kenseth, like, it started out rough, but even then he still had a better, like, point situation after, like, the race before Dover, whatever that was, when he won. He was still ahead of Hamlin in the points. I don't know why everyone was like, Matt's having a horrible season, but I'm just sitting there like, so's Denny. Well, whatever, whatever you say, whatever you say. So, yeah, Matt, two wins. One incredible win and one unbelievably boring win, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right. Matt's having a decent season. Hamlin, Ham Sandwich, my fucking guy that I fucking, by circumstance, became one of my favorite drivers during the Jimmy Johnson era. Hamlin, well, went on my shit list at the start of the season, for one thing, but... Yeah, this season I've been like, I don't care about Hamlin. Like, usually I'm like, you know what, if Hamlin makes it, I'll cheer for Hamlin. But this season I'm like, I don't give a shit about you, Hamlin. You kind of fucked yourself in that regard. But, eh, but, eh, but, eh. So, yeah, he's having a half-decent season. Actually, he's doing one of the better, better seasons. He's got the three wins as opposed to two. Edwards! Edwards! Okay, I said at the start of the season that Carl Edwards was on a fucking mission this year. Because that, that was right after Phoenix with that photo finish. And he was like second in points. And I was like, oh my god, Carl Edwards might actually do it this year. And then I remember that the chase is a thing. And he was probably going to get knocked out after round one because of something stupid. But whatever. Whatever. Carl's having a good season. Brad Kozlowski. Yeah. Bad Kozlowski has gotten four wins. Four wins. Very good. Very good job there, Braddy. Brad, Brad, Chad, Dad, glad that he had Brad to pay his um, sad existence. There you go. Yeah, Brad's had a four-win season. Um, it's clear that he is obviously the um, best driver of Penske by um, a country mile. And Look for him to do some shit or whatever. So now we got Curtis Bush, the Kurt, the Kurt Meister, Curtis, 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 or something. Originally, he was on the run of his life. He was trying to match Kevin Harvick in consistency. Did it for a while, and then um, started getting wrecked every race. So that was great. Yeah, um, if Kurt Bush can keep his nose clean, um, he's got a serious chance of making some noise this chase. As for the other Bush, um, four wins somehow, some way, but they all came like in the first quarter of the season. So Kyle Bush winning a race seems completely illogical, unless you're at a track where no one's fucking trying or in the Xfinity series. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. How about McMurray? I'll tell me McMurray. At the start of the, at, you know, like three weeks ago, I said, like, you know, McMurray might make the chase. But now, looking at McMurray, it's like, oh boy, McMurray's ready to punch a guy in the face for second place. Not first, but second, definitely. Yeah. McMurray winning a race is seeming less and less likely. Eh, whatever. Oh, the Austin. The, the, 
the brat in the hat. I like I like to call that Austin the brat in the hat. But um, um, surprising to see him in the chase. I didn't even I didn't even think he was coming close to having a consistent season. I didn't even have any idea he was doing the Newman this year. I'm amazed, honestly. I I did not see it coming. Like after last season, I thought you know he's getting better, but that doesn't mean much. It wasn't it was much to begin with. So it was like what from twentieth to fifteenth, but I guess. Um, if you get the right combination of RCR equipment, you can finish in 7th 15 times during the season and point your way into the chase. So yeah, I guess the um, Newman powers have transferred this season. Whatever, whatever. As far as Chase Elliott is concerned, god fucking damn it. Um, chase, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, in a, in in a way, not exactly like star smashing or anything, but definitely did not expect to see the air of consistency at the start of the season. What I what we've seen for like the last ten weeks is more of what I expected from not just Chase, but the rookies as a whole. I was hoping Blaney would do something, but no, well, that's too much to ask for apparently. But yeah, Chase is in the Chase, and that's whatever. Chris Buescher. <clears throat> if there was ever a word to say that would describe the season, would be Chris Buescher as the Sprint Cup Series champion, because that is about as not entirely out of the question at this point. The shit that's happened is kind of um, unbelievable so far. So, yeah, yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me, except it would surprise me because that's not happening. Sorry, Chris. Maybe if you had like um, if you had a Penske car, not a Roush car though. I don't know why I'm sorry. Sorry to fucking talk in a fucking I don't know. Whatever you want to call this voice, you know. I don't, I don't know. Would you call this like puberty? <laughs> um, that is your chase rundown. That is all sixteen. Sixteen. Why does it have to? Fucking 16. That's almost half of the goddamn field. 16 out of 40. 16 out of 40. That is so fucking much. Oh my god. But anyway, um, point is, it is time for us to discuss uh, the uh, races. Because I like to give my winner prediction as I do in the rest of the predictions. So let's get to Chicagoland. Chicagoland, you really can't really judge that much. Like this season. Unless it's been a night race, like, every track has kind of been unique in its own way. And that is something that we've been missing for the longest time. Like, last year, you go to Chicagoland, it's going to be just like every other mile and a half. Probably going to see Harvick dominating, Truex up in the top ten, Jimmy Johnson will sneak in and get the win somehow. But this season, you know, we went to what? We went to Las Vegas. And that was... Oh... A dust bowl, for example, that's a word that I would use to describe it, but then Kansas came, and that was, you know, the middle of the night, so it don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. So you really have to go, you kind of just have to take, like, the Toyotas and, like, Stuart Haas and Jimmy Johnson, and then kind of just throw a dart at them. And just pick whoever came up. And I'm going to say it's Jimmy Johnson to silence the critics. Oh, he's going to go in and he's going to smash into the chase like he usually does. Because, you know, when you let your guard down, that's when Jimmy Johnson gets five straight championships. Don't let your guard down, chase teams. Please, for our sake, don't let your guard down. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't highlight anyone with New Hampshire, and that is because New Hampshire has been consistently the race that, except for that year, okay, that's not, that's a true outcome. Okay, yeah, I said that Kyle Busch was going to win it last year, and then the 2014, I said that no one was going to win it, because I say that New Hampshire is going to be won by Alex Bowman. I can dream, damn it. So, as far as Dover is concerned, you know, Harvick's going to have his back against the wall, he's going to do it. And he's just going to win at Dover, because that's what he does. He just wins with zero fanfare, and, you know, yeah. Harvick wins Dover, because, of course. Mm, and it's time for the round of eight.
timing 12. 12 drivers will move on. Let us see who they are. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's gonna be Brad Kozlowski, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, Shitty Ass Legato, Truex, Stewart, Hamlin, Kurt, Kyle, Larson, Edwards. Yeah. So as you can see, I am dropping uh, the three, 32, the one, and... Where will the London? Who else am I dropping? Shit, I don't even fucking know. We got the three, the one, 34. That's four. You gotta move on on one less driver here. Who am I fucking dropping right now? Am I a fucking idiot? Did I accidentally advance 13 drivers? Am I absolutely fucking blind right now? I think I'm absolutely fucking blind right now. So we got... Okay, so we got Larson. That Larson, then Jimmy, then Kevin. Logano, Truex, Stewart. Kenseth we're dropping. Oh yeah, because Kenseth is not having the greatest of seasons. That's why I'm saying that. Kenseth does not make it to the second round. Um, Chris Buescher doesn't make it to the second round as much as I want him to. But he ain't. He ain't. And uh, the brat in the hat won't. And McMurray won't. Because he'll probably do the exact same thing as last year and finish second to someone already locked in. You know? Because that's how things go. That's how the fucking cookie crumbles. So yes, we got Brad Kozlowski, blah, blah, blah. You already see him. You've probably been sitting here actually reading through it while I fucking ramble on about absolutely nothing. I haven't recorded anything in a while. That's that's why I'm so really hyperactive right now. I'm, I apologize. So, Kansas. Is it Kansas Charlotte Talladega or isn't it Charlotte Kansas Talladega? I'm, I don't have a fucking clue. It's probably Charlotte Kansas Talladega. So that's what I'm going to say. Charlotte Kansas Talladega. Why do I have Truex winning Charlotte? Well, he fucking decimated everyone last time in Charlotte. It's probably going to be another night race, which means Truex is going to dominate yet again. Good. That's a good thing, by the way. Carl Edwards wins at Kansas because I didn't have really anyone else to put there. And I'm going to put Brad Kozlowski at Talladega because um, he's been OP at every um, Super Speedway race this season, except for the Daytona 500. That was really the only one. But that was just the Joe Gibbs racing shirt, circle jerk race. So it wasn't exactly that thrilling or anything. But yeah, Talladega first, Daytona. Yeah, they're fucking set to do it again. You know, for the third year in a row, is it that Kislowski's going to win this fucking race? Whatever. And yeah, so that's the predictions for that round. Let's move on to the third round. This one's actually eight as opposed to last time when I said it wasn't. Boom, baby. We got Keselowski, Johnson, Harvick, Logano, Truex, Edwards, Stewart, and Larson. We're dropping... <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. We're dropping both bushes. We're dropping Chase. And we're dropping Denny. Denny, yeah, he has all the momentum in the world coming around. But you all know what I think about momentum. And it's a bunch of fucking shit. So, yeah. Hamlin's going to get fucked up at Talladega, I assume, just like last year. And that's how that's going to go. Um, as for the both of the bushes, well, I could see Kurt moving on, honestly. But Kyle's gonna fuck himself over. He's gonna he's gonna be like he's gonna have a problem at Charlotte and then a problem in Kansas, and he's gonna fuck himself in Talladega. You know, he's just gonna try and stress himself out too much. He's just gonna be really stressed. And Chase, well, unless he wins a race, I don't think he's gonna be moving on. Pointing is really not gonna be. His strong suit, especially considering he's been on a downward slump lately, as with the rest of Hendrick, except for Jimmy Johnson, because you know Jimmy Johnson. But yes, 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 yes. So as far as this um, continuation is concerned here, we've got Martinsville, Texas, and Phoenix. And as we all know, Jimmy Johnson likes to molest the shit out of Martinsville, so I'd say he's going to do it again uh, this year. So yeah, there's that. Then we got Texas. Texas is an interesting one because I think it's a night race again. I'm probably wrong, but I think it starts in the day and goes into night. Like, it ends right at the, you know, ass crack of dusk, you know? Right when the fucking sun goes down, they're going to party in Texas or something, I don't know. So, if, if, it, if it starts in the day, Kyle Larson wins. If it starts at night, um, 
well, Truex is going to contend, but his pit crew is going to fuck him up the ass like always. And then um, Carl Edwards is going to win. And I'm going to say Carl Edwards is going to win Phoenix because I'm so sick and fucking tired of Kevin Harvick winning Phoenix that I'm going to say that he's not going to win Phoenix. So hopefully he does not win Phoenix because I'm so sick and fucking tired of that shit. Which brings us to the final round. Oh my god. Consisting of Jimmy Johnson, Martin Truex, Carl Edwards, and Kyle Larson. Why do I say Truex is going to point? Well, he fucking did it last year in a fucking Chevrolet. So if they're the if Truex and Edwards are the only Joe Gibbs cars left, oh, they're going to fucking make it. So don't you worry about that. So, like I said at the predictions video, um... At the start of the season, I said that the points leader going into the final race would not make it to the final race. That would be our good buddy, Kevin Harvick. So, Kevin Harvick, bye! It'll be a good it'll be a good turn of events to see him not contending at Homestead. Wouldn't that just be great? And you know what? In all honesty, I'd be fine with any of these guys winning the championship, which is probably why I picked them. Like in a perfect world, Jimmy Johnson would wreck on lap one, and it would be between these three, and that would just be swell. But it's not a perfect world. So, why do I say Jimmy Johnson moving on? Well, ah, I fucking told you this entire video, you never count out Jimmy Johnson, motherfucker. And um, I say Truex because he did it last year, pointing, and if he wins Charlotte, that'll give him the necessary morale boost, you know. So, that'll be good, that'll be good. Carl Edwards, I'm telling you, this is his fucking year. Carl Edwards, this is his fucking year. Like, since the start of the season, I've been thinking Carl Edwards is on a goddamn mission to win this championship, and he's gonna fucking contend. <laughs> he's gonna contend. And Kyle Larson at the end, because, you know, Carl Larson contending once we get to Homestead, oh, that'll be fun. I just want to see this for the fun factor. Like, Larson... Like, this four, like, these four right here, I think, would put on the best show at Homestead come the end of the season. And that's not entirely why I picked them, but, um, a good re a good amount of reason. A good amount of reason. So, yes, unfortunately, Tony Stewart will not pull the Jeff Gordon and coming in at the final end of the season. Why is this shit fucking off-kilter? God fucking damn it, I hate this. Fucking doing this shit. Um... Yeah, so moving into Homestead, we have Jimmy Johnson, Martin Truex, Carl Edwards, Kyle Larson. Oh my god, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win the championship? Who do you fucking think I'm gonna fucking pick to win this fucking championship? It's not even a fucking question. Honestly, I should pick Larson, but I'm gonna say that Truex is gonna win this shit. I said it last year, and I'll say it again. This is Truex's championship to lose. He's got the fucking car to beat. He's got the crew chief to beat. And he's got a shitty pit crew that is going to drag the fucking team down, like always. But if that pit crew gets its shit together, this is the fucking year. Oh, it's the fucking year. Oh, it's the fucking year. So I say that it's going to be... um. Truex first, Carl Edwards second, Jimmy Johnson third, and Kyle Larson fourth after an accident because I think he's going to throw the motherfucker into the wall. Go all the way. Going all the way. But as you as you should know by now, um, I'm trying to keep this consistent with um, um, uh, the season predictions video that I did at the start of the season. So... The winner of the championship ain't going to win at Homestead. I think that, um, just to make it fucking, you know, great, we're going to have Truex win the championship, and we're going to have Tony Stewart win at Homestead, Miami. And then I will fucking ejaculate into the solar system, and everything will be wonderful, and I'll probably have to stop watching NASCAR because it could literally not get any better than that unless Mark Martin returned next year and won the Daytona 500. If that was how this whole thing ended, the 2016 season ended like this, and then the 2017 season started out like that, I'd just fucking have to wa stop watching NASCAR because it ain't getting better than that, son. So this has been... The, um, as always, Chase Grid Predictions video, um, if you want to see it once again in all of its fucking erotic glory, 
can take a gander right immediately and yeah you'll see that this is the fucking chase grid this is how it's going to end you can fucking mark my words I'm, I've been to the future actually no this would be the first um, year that um, the whatchamacallit from the Back to the Future movie wouldn't count because it was like from what 1940 to, 19 to 2015 wasn't it with that what what you call it sports book from the fucking back to the future yeah yeah it's the first season so you can't say that i looked fucking well maybe they made a new edition for 2016 to i don't know 2070 so i've been to 2070 the gas crisis does not get fixed um isis is the one world religion and um ecuador has uh sovereignty and is now as powerful as uh, the soviet union once was so yeah, that's um, an interesting turn of events, but you know, that's just how it goes. But you know what, I'm done making this video. You get the fucking idea. This has been the Chase Grid Predictions video. And as always, I will see you um, if this is uploaded today. I mean Monday. I'll see you tomorrow with some NASCAR heat a motherfucking evolution at long goddamn last. And I will see you, or if this is Tuesday, I will see you then later today at 4.30, like always. But in any case, this is, once again, I'm so sick and fucking tired of saying this shit, but this has been the Chase Grid, Chase Grid Predictions video. So yeah, this has been the motherfucking Chase Predictions video. And I will see you in whatever the fuck happens next. Bye!